if you look at the history of European involvement in, in Australia, mm -hmm. that the first European construction ever built on Australian soil was a set of gallows. I'll never work on a better, pure story than the Batavia. So would you consider doing a children's version? So that well, you could go through to schools? The, the, review, the reviewer in The Australian um, on Saturday talked about how how very, very bloody the account is and sexual as well. My book will open up Australian eyes, wider Australian eyes, to the Dutch part of our history, which is, which is the foundation part of U the European part of, of the history. I mean, I found fascinating the stories of the contact, the first contact between the Dutch, uh, the, the ones on the Doifkin, 1606, mm -hmm. the shipwreck of the Batavia, and uh, I'm very thrilled because it's just gone number one and on the Dibbick's non-fiction bestseller list and it's about the, the ship, the Batavia, that left I think well, October 28th, 1628 from Amsterdam, Texel, and then came across the seven seas, got to Australia and it was uh, hit the reef on the morning, in three o'clock in the morning of June 4, 1629 and it's an adults only version of the Lord of the Flies. They divided up into the goodies and the baddies. Um, and it was a it was a fight between good and evil, and it's all true, and it all happened on Australian shores, and it's a hugely significant episode, perhaps not in overall Dutch history, but in the Dutch history of Australia.